it's Meg. In this installment of my World at a Guide series, we will be talking about how to create basic shapes. If you're already familiar with World Edit, you probably already know these commands, but for those of you who don't know anything about it, I hope this video can be a help to you. So we just have a few shapes to go through and they're all basically the same, but let's start with a cylinder. So to create a cylinder, we're just going to do slash slash cylinder, or you can shorten it to just sill. And the next number, we'll just enter the block we're going to use, and then the size. We'll just do a size of 5, and this will create a solid cylinder. So the size we entered was the radius of our entire cylinder, not including the middle block. So we can count 5 blocks away from the middle, and that is our radius. Now, if you want to add some height to your cylinder, all you have to do is add a third number. So if we just take this command we used before, we have a 5 block radius and we'll add a 10 block height to it. Entering that command, the shape is being built around you, so you're stuck in the middle of it. To get out of this, all we have to do is the command unstuck and it will get us out of there. So now that we're outside of it, we can see that it has indeed created a 10 block tall cylinder with a 5 block radius. Now that was how to create a cylinder that was perfectly round, with the same radius on all sides. But if you want to make a shape that's more of an oval with two different lengths on each side, then we'll just have to enter two separate numbers for the radii. So with the same command, cylinder and then block, and for our size we'll enter two numbers with a comma in between those, and that's the x coordinate and the z coordinate. And you can see we have created an oval that is 5 blocks from the center on two sides and 10 blocks on the other sides. Adding those up, that's a 10 by 20 cylinder, minus the middle blocks, so technically 11 by 21. So all in all, you could potentially have four separate numbers for a cylinder. You could have your block, then your size if you had two coordinates, and then your height. In order to create a hollowed version of these, it's the exact same command except with an H in front. So we just do H cell with the same numbers, and that will just create an outline of that cylinder. If we add some height to it, likewise we're just creating walls around ourselves of the cylinder. Moving on to spheres, it's done the exact same way, just use the command sphere with your block type and we'll just start with one radius here. And since we are creating a sphere, since it isn't flat, it is going to generate all around us, and we're going to have to do unstuck to get ourselves out of this. Just like the cylinder though, you can see it has created a five block radius from the center point. So technically the sphere is 11 by 11 in size. Now, just like cylinders, we can adjust the radii for our sphere on each side. But we have one more dimension to work with. With cylinders, we just had X and Z, but with spheres, we have X, Y, and Z. So we can enter a number for each of those directions. So let's try and make this as obvious as possible. Let's just do 3, 9, and 15 for our dimensions. And let's go ahead and enter that. And we're going to have to do unstuck to get ourselves out of this. And let's see what we've created. Always remember those numbers I entered are technically doubled plus one for the full width. So this is technically seven by 19 by 31. Now, if you're not sure which direction you're facing or what coordinate you're applying each number to, there's an easy way to know which number is gonna go in which direction if you just push F3. In the center, you'll have a little guide with coordinates and all you have to do is memorize that the red is the X, the Y is green, and Z is blue. Just by looking at this, we can clearly see that the blue coordinate, or the Z, is the longer one, since I did enter 15 for that radius. And just like cylinder, if we wanted to make this hollow, all we'd have to do is add an H in the front and make it H sphere. So the sizing and all the rest of that stuff is all the same, we're just making it hollow. Now when you're stuck inside something like this that's only one or two layers of blocks around you, we can just use the command through to get out of it instead of unstuck. It is a shorter command, but it only works with thinner walls. And of course, you can make a hollow sphere with lots of different dimensions. These are very customizable. I guess the main difference between these two shapes is you can't visibly see that a sphere is hollow, whereas a cylinder you can. 
the third and final shape that I'm going to show you is pyramid. And what do you think the command is for this? Uh, maybe just pyramid. That was easy. And that will be followed by the block type and the size. And pyramid is the only one where you can just pick one radius length. And just like all the others, it will be that many blocks away from the center. So you will have a diameter, double that, plus your middle block. So by creating a pyramid with a radius of 10, we've actually created a pyramid with a diameter of 21. And of course, if you wanted to make it hollow, we would just do H pyramid. Just as an added bonus, I know you realize we can just do H sphere, H cylinder, H pyramid for all of these. But there is also a flag I just want you to be aware of. There is a flag called minus H that if you add that to a regular command of a sphere or cylinder or whatever, it will also make it hollow. I just wanted to point that out as another way you could generate a shape as being hollow. Now we've covered almost every shape, but what about squares? How would you generate a square? Well, while we can't generate a perfect cube in world edit, we can do this. Now you should know that making a selection and using set will make a solid square or rectangle. But if you just wanted to do just the outline or just the edges or the walls, you're just going to do the command walls. And this is really helpful for any structure builder out there just to make a selection and just instantly make a wall like that. We're just going to keep calling this a rectangle. If you want to instantly create a hollowed rectangle, all we have to do is the command faces with our block type, and that will just set the faces of your selection. The faces being any edge of your selection. Basically a hollowed rectangle, or whatever your selection shape is. If I had to pick one thing that these commands are most useful for, I would say it's just basic structure layout. Now I'm not a structure builder myself, but I can see this being the number one step you do is just laying out your build and these commands can make that process so much faster for you. Well, that's all I have for this tutorial. I hope you are able to learn something. These commands are all pretty self-explanatory, but I try my best to include as much information as I could. If you are a beginner to World Edit, consider watching some of my other World Edit tutorials I have floating around out there somewhere. But if not, have a great day and happy building!